Hey everyone, this is Zach, and today we have the Small But Mighty Premium Collection Box. Now this focuses on the tag team of Togepi, Igglybuff, and Clef Cleffa. I, I, wanna, I wanted to say Clefairy, but this is only at Target, and it cost me about 50 bucks, I want to say, but in here is 10 packs and a couple of extra things. So today we're going to unbox this. I know that Walmart has their own set as well, and I don't know about any other places that might have it, but this is the one that you can only get at Target right now, and I thought I would pick it up and open it up to see what's in it, and hopefully we can get some good pulls. So inside, we see that it's got a little keychain with the baby Pokemon and what I believe is a pin. And then we have a coin featuring all three and a promo card, a tag team promo card that has all three of these baby Pokemon on it. Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff. And inside it looks like we got two Darkness Ablaze, a Rebel Clash, a Sword and Shield, two Burning Shadows, a Sword, Sun and Moon, maybe two Sun and Moon, Crimson Invasion, and Steam Siege. So I'm, anyway, I'm excited to open all these up, except for the Steam Siege. Uh, I could probably go without that. So we're gonna pop this bad boy open, see what's in it, and see if we can get some good pulls. And oh, I also figured since it was missing the newest set, I picked up two things of Vivid Voltage as well. So let's open these up and see if we can get anything good. Okay, so here we are. We have between, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve packs. Holy crap. And here we have the promo card, which is Togepi, Cliffa, and Igglybuff GX tag team. Pretty cool. I love all the different Pokeballs on it. That's. Such a great card. I don't know if that's a reprint from a set or is that like a special promo card, but we have a keychain with the three babies. A coin, which if you're like me, you have a pile of different coins laying around and it's already scratched. Look at that. Well, if anything is going to be damaged in this package, I would I would have it be the coin. And then a little pin. I love the pins. I'm a big fan of the pin collections. Uh, but anyways, let's get started. So I thought that I would start with the oldest set, which is Steam Siege, and I would work my way up. Kind of like a little time travel forward. And I just want to let you guys know... If you don't know already by my videos that I end up keeping my code cards and I'm pretty sure this is X and Y so it's three to the back. Let's find out. We have a Sheldon, Ambipalm, Tangrowth, Clink, Mantine, Mantine, Joltik, Burmite, Boongus, Flaffy Reverse, and a regular rare Yamega. So, I mean, if I do get a flop, if I do get a regular rare, I'm okay with it being Steam Siege. So next up we have Sun and Moon, and I'm pretty sure we have two packs of that. Another solid green. I think it's three to the, maybe four to the back. Let's see, is it four to the back? Yes, it's four to the back. And we have a fairy type energy, Passimian, Ilma, Spinda, 
Zubat, Grubbin, Growlithe, Popplio, Wingle, Psyduck Reverse, and a regular rare Coyster. I don't know if I have this one. It has been so long since I looked at Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon was definitely like when I like at my high point of like buying packs of Pokemon cards. And now I really just buy the big sets just to open up and see if I can get anything good. Okay, we have our next Sun and Moon pack. It is a white and green, so let's see what it is. We're going to do four from the back. We have a Fighting Type Energy, a Dragonair, a Double Colorless Energy, Corsola, Chinchou, Makuhita, Caterpie, Paris, Young Goose, Alolan Diglett Reverse, and a Tauros GX. I actually don't know if I have this one yet. Wow, okay, so there's our first hit. Not too bad, not too bad. So next up we have Burning Shadows and we do have two of these as well. I'm pretty sure this one has the chance of a Charizard. So let's hope for that because anything Charizard right now is really popping. And it's going to be a solid green, unfortunately. So we're going to do our four from the back. We have a fairy type energy. Mount Lawn Aquila. Noctowl. Ride on. Let's do it a little closer. Horsey. Venipede. Sandy Gas. Morlul. Crab Brawler. Toga Tomorrow, Reverse, and in a Lowland Ninetales regular rare. So, not too bad, not too bad. So far, we are four packs in and we have one hit. So, if, if it follows that ratio, we might have one more good card. I wouldn't mind to get more than that, but... Solid, solid green again for the Burning Shadows. We have a Dark Type Energy, a Whirlipede, your boy Guzma, Super Scoop Up, Mudbray, Stuffle, Noibat, Sock, Esper, Weavile, is that our reverse? It is our reverse, and a regular rare Shenotic. Okay, so we are five packs in, and next up is Crimson Invasion. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so, ah, so far this is not looking good. But then again, this is still Sun and Moon. So if they save our rares for the newer cards, I am totally okay with that. We have Fire Type Energy, Kakuna, Acelgore, Diggersby, Sandalit, Starly, Skiddo, Skiddo the Kiddo, Pikachu. I love that art. It's just adorable. Alolan Geodude. Alola Marowak Reverse, which I love Alola Marowak. That is a sick card. And the regular rare Primate. I don't think I opened a lot of Crimson Invasion, so I don't know if I have that Marowak. But anyways, I, sh I do like that card. Okay, so now we are into the Sword and Shield. So we have four packs left from the set. We've gotten one hit. So hopefully... They're all here. And then we have two more packs of Vivid Voltage. So we're about halfway through. That was such a terrible open. Okay, so our first Sword and Shield is a white and green. Let's see what we got. 
we have an electric energy, energy retrieval, heat more, drizzle, hootoot, pinkurchin, bolt picks, nicket, batoil, baytoil, silly cobra, and a holographic galarian berserker. I actually got this in one of the promos for Rebel Clash that came with this as a promo card, but it's a holographic, so it is a hit. I will take it, I will take it. Next up is our Rebel Clash, and you know that I'm looking for anything Kappa Raja when it comes to Rebel Clash. That or that Golden Rillaboom card, I'm not gonna lie. I will take either one of those, but if we get anything Kappa Raja, that is a win in my book. And it is a white and green, okay. I like this, I like that we're getting better cards on the newer sets. We have Electric Energy, Beware, Palo Sand, Training Court, Melsery, Galarian Farfetched, Galarian Meowth, Caterpie, Galarian Corsola, a reverse Galarian Weezing, which kind of looks blurry when you're looking at it from an angle. That's such a weird card. And we have a holographic Luxray. So, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so here are, we're down to the last four. We have our first Darkness Ablaze. So let's see if we can get something good out of Darkness Ablaze. Once again, Darkness Ablaze is a set that has a Charizard in it. So if we can grab a Charizard, that would be awesome. Oh. Solid green. Ooh. We have our Fire Type Energy. Paltigeist. Soul Rock. Kabu. Hippopotas, Centret, La Restar, Morlol, Babitaxel, a La Restar Reverse, and a Gothitelle. Not bad, not bad. So, so far we got two hollows, one GX between the eight packs. So let's hope this Darkness Ablaze can even it up to half the packs being hits. I would be okay with that. Okay, and there you go. There's the white and green. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We have a fighting type energy. Rose Tower. Simi Seer. One of the worst Pokemon ever. A Laron. A Diglett. Swolvet. Shelmet. Panpour. Teddy Ursa. A Reverse Paris. And a Cinta Scorch V. Okay. So that is all all from the box so we got a gx a v card and two hollow so about half of the packs were hits so i mean you can't really complain about a 50 percent rate but we still do have two packs of vivid voltage that i am going to go ahead and open up and let's see what we get Our first one is a solid green, but I guess there's something called an amazing rare now that you can get in a solid green pack, so let's hope for that. We have a fire type energy, Careless. I love how her name is Careless. She just like throws fossils together. Stone energy, Electrike, Dedene, Pikapek, Choodle. Man, these cards feel thicker than the other ones. Ch 
Chimchow, or Chimeco, Roly, a Reverse Samurott, and a Vaporeon. Are you okay, dog? I don't like those noises you're making. Okay. And now on to our last Vivid Voltage, our last pack of the video. Let's see if we can get something, something, something to keep our card percentages at 50%. Ooh. So we can get, we can still get one of those amazing rares. We have a uh, fire type energy, Pinkurchin, Trumbeak, Nessa, Chatot. I haven't seen Chatot in a while. Joltik, which I love this card that it's just like messing with the plugs. I think that's adorable. Cottony, really weird that it's a psychic type, but uh, fairies are now in the psychic card, I believe. Mudbray. Slugma, Yanma, Reverse, and a Galarian Berserker Regular Rare. So not the best that I wanted to see on Vivid Voltage. I was hoping to get something a little better, but let's go on and go over to the recap. Okay, so first off in our recap, we have a Holographic Galarian Berserker. We have a holographic Luxray, which I'm pretty sure I might already have this. We have our promo card tag team GX, Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff. We have our Senta Scorch V, which is probably our best pull, and a Tauros GX. So what do you guys think? Do you think it was worth it? Are you guys gonna pick this setup yourself? How adorable is that, that keychain? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit the like button. I'll have another T TCG unboxing for you guys, and for just about a bunch of random Pokemon stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, I'm Zach, and I will see you in the next one.